in this video I'm going to be looking at an another um, web server control which is the image button control the image button control is used to replace the default image uh, the default button that ASP.NET uh, always put on our web page which is a very very ugly button you know this is the the button that we usually get so if you have created your own button in uh, a photo editing program like uh, Photoshop then you can import that vi uh, photo I mean you can import the image into Visual Web Developer so you can use it so uh, this is how you import your video you right click on the project and choose an X16 item don't add a new item you want to add an X16 item so uh, I've already um, added the button I've already saved the button into my pictures so I'm going to add it so as you can see this image has been added now to my project but uh, this is not the best practice the reason why is because if you have so many image they will just be flying all over the place so the best way to do it is to create a folder if you right click on that and say new folder just name the folder as images so you can have all your images you can now drag and drop this one inside so as you can see now I have my this button image inside my images folder so that is the best way to do it so now that we have dragged the image button onto the surface uh, it's time to point our image onto it so that you know where to find it so we want to look for the um, the image URL the image URL uh, this is the URL of the image to be shown so um, if you look we have our uh, images folder here and this is only one image inside so let's select it and click on OK so as you can see uh, this is our beautiful button so from now on this is what uh, this button will look like on our page it's not going to be as ugly as uh, <laughs> the default one that is provided by the application so uh, you can set the alternate text uh, you can set the back color the border color let's choose the back color to be there black border width to be border start to be solid and the border width to be 3 pixel right so now we have a border we can set the four color which we don't really need uh, what else do we configure so I think that it, uh, that's fine so let's have a look at what this looks like so as you can see here this is much more more beautiful than uh, the default that is provided by the application so you can change the way that your button looks on your application so there's nothing much more to it than that uh, we have the event which is the click event of any button so if we want we can ch change the click event of this um, just like every uh, this is a button the only difference is you can change the image so um, you can configure the click events if you want to uh, or just by clicking double clicking the image itself so um, that's it if you have any question uh, leave me a comment and I'll reply thank you